Hello YouTube and uh, I'm going to show you the software that is uh, I made personally myself in Visual Basics. It is a great bit of a software that is can be used for um, tails and stuff or a cache register software if you want to look at it. It's actually is able to scan the barcode, find the database and then um, run it. And then add everything up and give you a total and everything, which is quite amazing. Uh, it is designed in Visual Studio. I'm going to show you this is the sort of some coding for bits and pieces for right here. I'm going to reveal the code after uh, say 100 likes and 1000 views. It's just to be sure that you guys are interested in all the everything I'm doing really because there's a lot of 24 timers and a lot of work went into it. I spent literally five days from 9 to 5 Monday to Friday doing it, so it's a lot of work into went into it like. There are some cause bits and pieces like some, some coding. Uh, it's very amazing how interesting how it actually works. I'm gonna reveal it, use some bits and pieces outside it up. I'm actually gonna upload the um, I'm going to upload this is database back this is actually database right here as you can see this is all the files from our database if you wanna see all this like uh, one to one is a quantity twenty five then one to one price is four fifty nine and uh, one to one just depend on the whole name of it. This database is runs in but uh, in order to do that to set up this program on your computer uh, you have to go to C drive and type create a folder products and that's it and the history folder as well. And then I use this program called History Uploader. It uh, uploads the history on the internet every two to three seconds. So if you click History, and uh, you would be able to see. Uh, okay, didn't go well. Uh, let's click again. It's open. Give me an error sometimes. Here we go. As you can see, everything was bought from date, time, blah 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 blah. Everything. For like example. Uh, so this is Ubisoft store, name of my store, and then a time date, quantity of one Panadol, 45.25, they paid 45.25, this is the total they meant to pay, this is what they give me, this is the change, drop in error store, please come again, I mean you can, this is the link here, uh, patty, poo -poo, zero fees dot, nah, history, well, uh, what you literally can do is uh, create your own link if you want, and uh, you can actually, um, Viewer from any device like tablets, phones, and say you're a store owner and you go away somewhere on holidays and you want to see what was sold in the last couple of minutes or the last couple of seconds. It's actually literally uploads every couple of seconds to the internet or something bot. So that's how it literally works. Okay, um, the program itself is very basic. It's the way it operates and everything. It's very easy to operate. Uh, what you have to do is just simply at the very beginning we set that up. Okay, go to edit, enable products, enable. And then I have a few products here at the moment. I could type in like uh, I think it's a one to three aspirin or something. It's aspirin. It's added automatically. As you can see, there's nine ninety nine. I want a bottle of water. The reason is I'm going to type it in here just to get the barcode over. This is a pretend barcode, obviously. But uh, you can. Um, and I want two bottles, an example. Or five or six. How many bottles I need doesn't make any difference really. But uh, as the amount of bottles, say I want to buy four bottles and scan in the barcode. And what will happen? It's added water, so you see it's a four ninety nine per bottle of water, which is four. By that, it'll give me four by four is sixteen, and minus four is a fifteen uh, ninety six plus ninety nine nine ninety nine. It'll give us a twenty nine ninety five. The total of it, okay? And uh, that's great. So example, uh, I want the uh, I don't know if I have anything in this barcode. Travel batteries couldn't. Uh, enter, I took it too long to enter. I enter quickly, okay? Couldn't scan. Work. Please try again. It's okay. Uh, to one during say and then three to one during. And I want to show you another thing. If you want to say an example, um, 12 volt batteries, as you might notice, you have quantity remaining here, it comes up 11. It'd be like, uh, not to, oh, sorry, uh, in here, yeah, it'll come up like 11 it's not, yeah, and uh, open 10. And say if you go, uh, Products and that's been. If you out of stock, say say I have like two batteries or something. La say I want to just have two batteries in stock left. Okay, if I type in here uh, or aspirin, yes, aspirin, buy aspirin. Okay, so the last aspirin. As soon as you can see, it's the last aspirin just bought. If I type in again for aspirin, it'll come up like uh, aspirin zero left in stock, and it's not actually adding. Uh, and aspirin, barcode of aspirin, aspirin, the name of the product, quantity left, zero is not adding. Then the price. Per piece, and then say more of quantity and the subtotal. So if I type in say five, six, seven, ten packs, it'll actually calculate subtotal. And as soon as I hit buy, it'll give me you're out of stock. But if I were to have enough aspirin to buy it, it'll actually add this amount in here. Let me like it'll give me like a like this 11x, 
and it'll uh, give me the price and the name of the brand. Say so example, I'm happy in officer, I want to check out, I want to create, I want to gather money of the customer and uh, that's it. So example, you can use the, that's where you type in the amount they give, but uh, you can use manually, you can type it in manually if you wish, or you can use the buttons. Thing is 104.41, therefore all you have to do is, uh, I could use some quick buttons, 100. For example, I made a mistake and I just hundred and I had new let the customer go. Like oh, I say, here's our own I get around the amount of him. And until I not pay till not satisfy the amount is not letting me through. As you can see I have four forty one left right here, but I mean I entered a hundred, therefore it's not letting me proceed until I enter the correct amount. There's two ways to remove that. You can remove the last digit or you can reset the whole system just like that. The new button's not working until I uh am the correct amount. They pin one hundred and five as you can see, it's already gave, tell, tells me to give the customer 59 and change, and I also see the color of the thing of the of the call of the of the text has changed, the background of it has changed. So if I were to type in, uh, see, if I go 10, that's that you have to use a uh, 94 for give me the 4491. If I type in say 5, voila, it just gives me 59 cents change, right? Okay, another zero, it'll go 945. Okay. So you say the customer gave me thousand euro. There is thousand button. There is thousand. There is hundred and ten. So uh, eight hundred ninety five fifty nine. Simply just go new, and voila! As you can see, it's added to the history of the purchased products. Right there, you can see Ubisoft Store, which is right here as my store. All the stuffs I bought, quantities I bought in, and the uh, total they have to pay, amounts they paid, the change they got, time and date. Thank you for your shopping at our store. Please come again. And I could actually literally print off the receipt if I wanted to, if I had receipt. As you can see, it just printed off. It's went into a printing history, I'll show you now. Um, okay, printing history. If I go into printing history, and as you can see, it was just sent there a second ago to the printer. If I were to hit uh, reset again. Oh yeah, it should open, then opens up here, okay? That's the receipt was gonna look like the receipt. If I had manual print, as you can see, the thing sent to printer again. And I have two documents print off. I'll just remove them because my printer is off at the moment, and I don't want to print off all this text on it. But we'll literally print off and that, and uh, with the printer. If you have a proper printer for it, it'll be faster than that. So, and the thing, if I were to go to the... here, and refresh the page... And it should be right here, yeah, here we go, it's already online, there is, so please come again to our store, Aspirin, Uric, Uric, 12 volt battery, of battery, Aspirin, Aspirin, that's we just paid, got like 1000 euros paid, 104.41 was meant to be in, as you can see, between commas in, everything automatically, time and day, thank you for shopping, the name of our store, everything. That's pretty much it, I'm going to show you how to add products, remove products from the system, and, um, and say you don't, uh, and add a, enable and then enable the delete button. Say you don't want to do enable batteries anymore, all you do is type in the barcode for them or scan them, whatever you want with the barcode. I just want to hit remove, product removed. If I were to type in them again, see, nothing comes up and then it removes, it's no product not found. So if I were to go to tail and scan the product, see, it's not even found, see, like that. So it's just. See, one, two, three. Product not found. It blows a whistle. Says product not found. Like that. So if I were to type in like a uh, three to one, direct to like see it's added. Okay. But if I were to go uh, add the product and type in say the same barcode one two three an example and the name could be uh, whatever it could be like bandage or something or uh, antiseptic or something antiseptic and uh, say price could be like one ninety nine. Starting there, I want you could have three of them. Add, it's added. Okay. As soon as I hit type in here, uh, one, two, three, three zeros. Antiseptic comes up and it's added already. And during from previews add-ons. So as you can see, there it is there. Yeah. So it's uh, absolutely good. Good program. It works perfectly. If there is a mistake, say an example, if you were um, type in some like gibberish, might not add in time. Might well. It's, oh, it's out of stock. So it's not actually adding. Okay. To do like three. Okay. Three, two. One. See, couldn't scan the barcode because what happened is, is actually click add, and then what happened is the barcode was entered in time. If you use a barcode scanner, it'll take a couple of seconds, it'll take a quarter of a second to scan the barcode in. Because I'm typing in manually, so that's why it's taking so long. If if I type in manual like aspirin or something like typing wrong the barcode, if my barcode scanner wouldn't work some reason, I type in manually, and if it doesn't happen, this will give me the error, and it wouldn't affect the price or wouldn't add anything to it. As you can see, it just disappeared in here, whatever I just added, and the price wasn't affected, so that's what happened. That's uh, great, and if I had uh, this 100, I go 200. 
3048C and I hit new and we got a new person in your cell. So what I'm going to do with this program is I'm going to share the program itself. I squish settings, time and date, hide, there's time and date, and there's a show, time and date, help about us. I did not link into it yet, but I probably will. This is to disable the buttons, branch from clicking on and making silly mistakes to exit the program. Uh, bits and pieces if you no, then one okay, and if you go in here and update it again, refresh the page, but you start it again. Yeah, uh, antiseptic here you go, you start it there, okay. So, I'm gonna do if I'm, I'm probably okay. Uh, what we're gonna do this program is I'm gonna upload to YouTube this video right now, and uh, I'm gonna share the link for downloading the program itself to tell. But if you want me to release the codes and to build it live, like it'll take me like I don't know, maybe five, maybe four hours from now on because I have all the codes, just a matter of putting them together again. But it'll take a good few hours, like probably gonna be five or six videos if you request me to build it live for you. And if I get hundred likes and thousand views I will share I will release the code on the internet on YouTube with links so you can download it directly. And um uh, if you want to build live please leave in the comments, please comment, subscribe and rate it. Thank you very much for your attention. Thank you for watching. You can download this program. There's easy it's very easy setup like a Jewish show which is the beginning of the video. So thank you and enjoy. Please like thumbs up.